Today we are going to look at how to um, make a key tag using Adobe Illustrator and a laser cutter. So to start with, uh, students, I'd like you to open up the shared drive on the desktop of your computer or on the desktop of the computers available through the TAS department. Open up number one, Technology Visual Arts, and then open up the folder that is Templates. Inside this folder, you will find the laser cutter template, which is what we're going to use to make a key tag. Today, I'll look to make two different types of key tags. One using um, one that will be an etching uh, key tag, and the other one where I'll get the laser cutter to cut out the actual shape of the key tag. Um, so this is the template of the laser, and essentially um, anything you make on this template will fit in the laser cutter bed. Just delete the SCAS logo that you've got there at the moment. So the first thing I'm going to do is choose um, a different tool to square, and I'm going to choose an ellipse tool because I'm going to make a round key tag to start with. By clicking on the screen, we'll bring up a um, box which will allow me to type in the size of ellipse that I wish to make and I'm going to make mine uh, 50 millimeters wide and I might make my I might make it a bit of an oval shape by making it 40 millimeters high. Pressing enter I get a bit of a round ellipse tool. Now the first thing I can say see that um, is happening in my key tag is for the laser cutter to cut it out, it needs to be um, an RGB red line and it needs to have no fill. So here's our stroke and fill tags up the top. Okay, what we need to do is look at the fill box and make that fill box none. Oh, once my image is selected, make that fill box none, which is the box with the line through it. And you can see now I've got a black image or a black circle, which is the stroke with no fill. What I want to do to make the laser cutter cut that out is change that box to RGB red. Now you can see I've got a red circle with no fill on the inside, which is really important. Now what I wish to do, the laser cutter is very accurate and will not, um, will not respond to one point. The point um, under the stroke tab there is the thickness of the line and for the laser cutter to respond to a line thickness It needs to be 0.01 as the laser cutter is very accurate and you can see now I've got a very thin faint line that when I go to print this key tag will be um, Understood by the laser cutter or the laser cutter program I'm just going to zoom in a little bit now on my circle so I can see it a little bit more clearly um, and I'm going to start with putting an image or some text in there. We might start with um, some text that I'll get the laser cutter to engrave or etch into the box. Now what I'm going to do is make that um, no stroke this time and black fill. Anything black drawn in Adobe Illustrator will turn out, um, will etch on the laser cutter. Anything red will be cut out. So what I'm going to do in here is write, um, you can write whatever you like, that's keys, I'm just going to put in the box there and then clicking on the uh, selection arrow can expand and make those more central um, and a bit thicker. I might even change the font from regular to a bold italic. Okay, going back to the selection tool will allow me to move it around the screen or center it on my uh, key tag. Okay, that's good. I'm quite happy with the way that's turned out. Um, <clears throat> what I might look to do now is possibly um, put an image on the key tag which could also be um, etched into that. So what I might do here is open up um, Google and Google search an image or something that interests uh, me or dad as dad's a 
my father's a builder. I might find um, a hammer silhouette. Makes it very much easier to bring images from um, the internet into um, Adobe if they are silhouette. So um, I'm just going to type in hammer silhouette and this one here looks quite perfect for my need. And in doing so, I'm just going to right click copy image, then opening up the laser cutter template, I can press command V, which will bring the image into Illustrator. As you can see, it's brought in a massive image, which is fine. We can shrink that down. Once it's brought in like so, you need to click on this image trace tool and then expand. Really important steps when bringing in images from the internet. Now you can see this image I've brought in has got a black hammer, but it's also got this white background and we want to remove that white background. So to do that, we go, instead of using the selection tool, we want to swap to the direct selection tool. Clicking on the outside of the image, I can press delete and delete again. And what that will do will remove the white background of the image. Going back to the selection tool now, I can select my hammer. Clicking on the arrow, I can dry, uh, drop it down to a size that um, fits my key tag more perfectly. You can see by drop, dragging it in, um, it distorts the image. If you wish to drag it to scale, you can hold shift at the same time you drag and it will drag your image to scale. I'll just zoom in a little bit here. Shrink it down a little bit more. And there we have a hammer now that will get etched into the key tag. Now key tag needs a piece of chain or a key ring to attach to it. So in order to do that, I'll need to create a, another a hole inside my key tag. So I'm going to create a, another circle, which is six millimeters by six millimeters. Clicking OK. It's going to create that square. Now I need to make sure uh, that circle. Now I need to make sure that that stroke is red and is also 0 0.01 stroke weight. Enter. And I'm going to drag that into the center of my key tag. Change the fill to none so it's all see through. And there we have it. Now, if I sent that to the laser cutter, I could essentially cut that out of a timber or MDF or um, acrylic, plastic, um, pretty well, pretty well any of the materials that we have or use here at school, and you can therefore take a key ring home. The next stage, if you want to do something a little bit more different, would be to possibly, rather than having the shape as a circle key tag, is have the shape as a hammer. Now to do that, I would go to the internet, and I would find a possibly a hammer, maybe one like this, okay, um, and pressing right click, copy image, and going back to Adobe Illustrator, command V, again same process we went through before, image trace that image and expand it, and I have now um, an image that is much larger, but is just the hammer. Now what I'm going to do here is remove that background by using the direct selection tool, the white arrow, clicking on the background, pressing delete twice. This one only removed half of it, so I might need to do the same on the opposite side. Okay. Now I want the laser cutter to cut that hammer out as my key tag. So I'm just going to dry, drag this down so it's more of a key tag size, not a massive object. Um, I'll zoom in a little bit. Command plus and minus zooms you in and out. Um, selecting the image now, I want to make the stroke, which is the line around the outside of the object, red, so the laser cutter cuts it out. The stroke weight, 0.01. And the fill to be none. 
Now what I have is the image of the hammer that I wish to make into a key tag. However, it needs a hole in it to put a key tag in. So what I'm going to do is create a circle. Clicking on the page, this time I might make it a very small circle, so four millimeters by four millimeters. Okay, there's my circle there. Um, I might just make this key tag a little bit bigger than the last one. Holding shift and dragging out, I can drag to scale. Then I'm going to put my circle in the handle because that's where I want it to swing off my keyring by. And up here in the mallet head, I might uh, take this text that I've already done. Command Shift, will, uh, sorry, Alt Command will allow me to copy it or you can copy paste. And I might drag that over here. Um, might just twist it around a little bit to fit in the key. And there we have it. Now I have two key rings completed. One that's going to cut out the shape of the object and the other one that's going to cut out a circular shape and also have dad's keys written on the inside. I'd like you to try now and create your own key tag, possibly for yourself or a family member. You can create a set of key tags for your whole entire family um, and we'll endeavour to get them cut out on the laser cutter. Thank you.